Five, the new gig law requiring workers to be treated as employees, not independent contractors, hit the road today to get people to vote against Prop 22. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens explains that ballot measure would make companies like Uber and Lyft exempt from the law. The rideshare lot at Lindbergh Field is pretty much ground zero for the debate between AB5 and Prop 22. Friday morning, the people who support AB5 did a car caravan from here to Lyft headquarters, telling everyone they passed to vote no on 22. Oh. <laughs> awesome, Mike. With signs, stickers, and car horns, drivers against Prop 22 hit the road with a message. When you work with Uber and Lyft, what have they done for drivers over the years? Tanya Edisvall, who's been a driver for four years, says she's seen her pay cut, her hours rise, and conditions worsen. That's why she supports AB5 and opposes Prop 22. They have had years to abide by the law. This isn't something new. You know, that you have to pay your workers a minimum wage isn't new. That you have to have a certain amount of benefits for people isn't anything new. AB5 turns a 2018 state Supreme Court employment decision into law, giving gig workers more protection. Prop 22 would make rideshare and delivery companies exempt from that law, but add some limited wage protection and health subsidies. Edisval and her supporters say it's not enough. And the fact that Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and Postmates have donated $110 million to get Prop 22 to pass proves that money isn't the issue. It strips us of all our rights. We're talking UI, we're talking health benefits, we're talking sick days, family leave. If they win Proposition 22, all those things go out the window. Not every driver agrees. 10 News spoke to some who say AB5 could take away their independence and ability to be their own boss. In August, Uber and Lyft threatened to shut down in California if a court didn't grant an injunction against AB5 until the November election. That court battle is still going on, with the companies saying if Prop 22 fails, they'll have to shut down for a little while to readjust their businesses to new rules. Edisval calls that a scare tactic to voters. So it's not just about threatening the drivers anymore. They're actually threatening the passengers by saying that if we have to pay our drivers a fair wage, we're going to shut down operations in all of California. I think it's just a threat tactic. Part of Friday's car caravan included giving away masks and hand sanitizer to drivers. People in the caravan say Lyft and Uber don't give them these, even though they expect them to sanitize in between every ride. They say it's another example of how the companies put profit over people. At Lindbergh Airfield, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.